hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to cover some of the most commonly asked questions and feedback given during a phd thesis proposal defense before i go to the questions and feedback i just wanted to sort of highlight the structure of a thesis proposal defense and um, the first thing is that the the uh, the chair of the defense committee welcomes the participants to the defense and then secondly, the chair outlines how the defense is going to be carried out, including any rules that should be adhered to. The chair then welcomes the PhD student to introduce himself and to make a presentation. Um, the presentation is normally 15 minutes, but this may vary from one institution to another. After the presentation by the student, the chair then opens the floor to the external examiners to give their comments, ask their questions, and give their feedback to the student on how to improve the proposal. So the questions have been asked by the external examiner. The student is then required to respond to the questions asked and the comments given. After this, then the chair makes his or her own remarks. And then after that, the student, his supervisors, and the audience are requested to leave the room to allow the chair and the examiners to make their determination. The student and his supervisors are then called back into the room and the determination is spelled out to them. And there are four key outcomes of a PhD thesis proposal defense. The first one is the proposal passes with minor or no corrections. The second possible outcome is that the proposal passes with major corrections. The third possible outcome is that the student retakes the proposal by rewriting it. And this may include actually change of topic and defending it again. And then the fourth possible outcome is that the proposal is rejected altogether. So having covered the structure and the possible outcomes of a PhD thesis proposal, the next few slides are going to list the main questions that are asked and the feedback given during the defense and the questions and feedback are organized by chapter so i'm going to start with chapter one then chapter two chapter three and lastly general questions and comments
So guys, there you have it. Those are the questions and feedback that I was privileged to collect from about five PhD proposal defenses that I was able to attend sometime last year. I hope um, this helps you even as you write out your PhD proposal to think through those questions and to have clear answers to them in preparation for your own PhD proposal defense. And in conclusion, I just want to say that a proposal defense is an opportunity for the PhD student to defend his work and to convince the interviewing panel that the student knows what he is doing and what is required of him moving forward. Secondly, of importance is adequate preparation before the defense and just making sure that the proposal and presentation follows the guidelines provided by the school. And this is not just applicable to the chapter one, chapter two and cha chapter three of the proposal, but also the front matter pages as well as the back matter pages and the formatting guidelines that have been provided by your own institution. And then lastly, PhD students should keep in mind that the aim of the proposal defense is actually to Im help improve upon the student's proposal and to ensure that the research will meet the scientific rigor and standards that are required of a PhD level work. So it is not an opportunity for the external examiners to just fry you dry. It is actually an opportunity to help improve your own work. So there you have it, guys. I hope this video is helpful to you uh, moving forward, even as you continue to write your own PhD proposal and to, to prepare to, do, to defend it before a panel of experts. I thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, if you have any other contribution to this video, I'd, I'll be happy to hear from you in the comment section. Bye.